Uh, what we have here is we have uh, a lot of red blood cells that are stacked together in a formation called Rouleau, where there's very poor circulation, very poor oxygen CO2 exchange. The red blood cells should be visible and separate like this one right here. Instead, they're stacked up, and there's multiple causes of that, including dehydration, poor digestion of protein, excess carbohydrates in the blood, sugars um, too high in the blood, and overall a low um, negative charge in the blood, where the potential, the zeta potential in the cells has been diminished, so cells just clump. Also, we have a lot of inflammation in the background, so you can see the sort of spider web formation in the background, that's inflammation. That can be caused by um, injury to the tissues, it can be caused by stress, it can be caused by liver not working properly and filtering the blood, multiple causes of that too. Here we can see a very small white blood cell, actually. In the case of this blood sample, the person's white blood cells were too small. You can see this one here, too. They should be two or three times the size of the red cells, and they're about maybe one and a half times the size of a red cell. So they're not in, in ideal shape. So this is the, the picture of a sample of blood I looked at um, within the last week. So after that uh, last sample of blood we looked at, uh, the person did a one-hour treatment with a frequency device called a Healy, um, which sends microcurrent and specific frequencies into the person's body. And uh, that was 60 minutes. It was on a program called Immune System. So immediately after that treatment, I looked at her blood, and this is what we saw. It was about 50% of the blood improved. So instead of being stacked up, the red blood cells, you can see them here, they're separate. They actually can exchange CO2 for oxygen now. They can actually get, get the job done, what they need to be done. Interestingly also, her white blood cells were bigger, and the program she ran was immune system. The white blood cells here, you can see, are about two times the size of the red cells. There's another white blood cell, more in the correct size. Some of the inflammation is gone, too. The background doesn't have all that spider web type fibrin in the background. Let me run the video here a little bit. You can see overall the blood is a lot better. It's, I, would, I would say it's a good 50% better in terms of the viscosity of the blood. The blood cells are actually moving. They're not all clumped. So essentially what happened is that we increased a lot of um, negative charge into the blood. And that negative charge helps the cells separate from each other. So they have more of a surface area to get oxygen and they have a lot more flow and movement of nutrients and uh, energy through her body. And that's what her blood looked like um, literally one hour after the first sample, after she did a one hour treatment on immune system.